go to the inn and I'm going to talk to the innkeeper. And there's a whole bunch of things listed here. I'm not going to go into all those, um, but these are again all generated. So this innkeeper has a wife and what kind of things is his wife able to cook and what kind of um, booze does he does he buy and make available and how what's the quality of the inn and how good of an innkeeper is he and like all this stuff in the background. But basically it comes down to Hey, here's some options for you. Do you want a bed? Do you want drinks? Uh, what's there to eat and stuff? Um, but I'm going to say, boy, have I got a story for you. And he's like, hey, I'm all ears. And here's an example where I had a life event. And one of those is getting unfairly kicked out of school. And so maybe I can tell him that story in order to get some sympathy. Or I can say, you know what? It's been a hard day and I sold some metal and I sold it for 50 gold. And I'm a really smart guy. And I'm going to tell you how awesome I am. <coughs> oh, that's it. He's not very impressed. And not only that, did our relationship went down. And so I'm really kind of ticked at that because I was really proud of that sale. And I know you guys out there were proud of that sale. So I'm going to get him. I don't like this innkeeper and let's get him. Okay, so there is our innkeeper. Now I'm going to explain combat before I actually do anything. So, uh, okay, so this is the combat screen. And in the combat screen, it's telling me I have a certain amount of health and I have 100 hit points and I have a certain amount of stamina. And stamina is literally like your energy, like exhaustion kind of level. And so um, I've spent a lot of time thinking about role-playing games and combat mechanics and everything from tabletop D&D Pathfinder stuff um, to all the computer and console role-playing games I've ever played. And my I basically philosophy was, I'm gonna throw away everything that is like a trope and existing in role-playing games and I'm only going to introduce things that I think are necessary. I'm not putting it in my role-playing game just because role-playing games have it. I'm going to put it in because it's absolutely necessary to the role-playing experience. And so my combat system is a great example of that. Um, there are no levels, there are no experience points um, related to uh, combat and such. It's um, your exhaustion level. And so when I read these uh, fantasy fiction books, um, whether they're Dragonlance books or other ones, um, you know, there's a scene where one guy, is, you know, big archmage is against somebody. Why doesn't he just use his most powerful spell? Well, the answer in the, the fictional novels is because you just get so tired. Like, after you run a marathon, you got to recover for weeks, rebuilding your strength and all this stuff. And so that's kind of the idea is that, sure, you might survive the battle, but it takes a lot out of you. And you may be kind of bedridden for a couple of weeks thereafter. And that costs you real time, time you could have spent making money or researching spells or whatever. And so the stamina is a representation of that. So you don't, also kind of like in golf, um, when you swing at that ball, if you swing as hard as you possibly can, you are less likely to hit the ball straight, but you're more likely to hit it farther. And so that's the kind of idea that goes into my combat mechanic, is the harder you want to hit, the more likely you are to miss or mess up. But if you do connect, boy, it sure does a whole lot of damage. And so that's what we can see here. Right now I have three spells to demonstrate to you, but obviously there's more and I could show you more, but uh, there's three spells and in here I have a slider and the slider determines how much energy I'm going to put into this particular um, spell when I cast it. And so I have two actions that I can perform on my turn and each enemy gets two actions as well. And the layout of the combat here is there are three planes to the combat. Far, which is kind of back here, mid, which is where he's standing, Roger Crimp, the innkeeper, is standing and near, which uh, he'll probably move forward and try to punch me in the nose. Um, and so you'll see that in a second. So by having three planes of existence, um, the spells, I have spells that are good at close, spells that are good at far, spells that don't do a lot of damage, but they push the guy backwards. And so now he has to move forward in order to hit me. By having three planes of existence, it gives me a lot of uh, strategy that's possible within the combat. And so I think by having this power meter and determining how hard you want to cast a spell, and by having the different kind of planes in the combat, it creates for a really interesting spell. So as I increase the stamina that I put into it, it increases the damage dice that I'm rolling, um, but it also increases the miscast. And so I am going to uh, cast um, this Mage Bolt and I'm gonna do some damage. Bam! Okay, that did five damage and I still have one action left. Now this guy is going to move forward, he's going to punch me in the nose. And I'm just a weakly little 16 year old mage and I don't want that to happen. And so um, one of the things that I do, my hit points will never change over my lifetime. 
but I get more powerful as a mage, and as a mage, I can cast Arcane Shield in order to shield myself from damage, and different kinds of damage. You can have Ice Shields and Fire Shields and whatever, but the Arcane Shield is kind of the basic shield that shields you from all kind of force damage. And so, with my Arcane Shield, I am going to pump that up, and I'm going to cast this on myself. Oh, I miscast! And now he moved forward and he punched me in the nose. Um, so I took some damage for that miscast, and now I'm going to cast... Oh, I miscast again! That is garbage. Okay, there's my shield. Okay, so now I have a really cool effect showing me that I'm hidden behind my shield, and it's going to save me from all this damage. And just to show you kind of the three planes of um, movement uh, on here, I can cast this force push, and that pushes him away, and I can do it again, and that pushes him even further. And you see now he's moving forward to try and punch me in the nose. Okay, so now I'm just going to finish off this innkeeper because this combat has gone on too long. Bam! I got him. I'm victorious. I'm so awesome. And now I go back to the game. And so at this point, I am going to go back and take questions before I show you more of the game and what happens after I killed the guy uh, in combat. Thank you everybody for the time and I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you.